Respiratory infections are very common in tortoises. Upper respiratory infections are the most common, but lower respiratory infections, pneumonia, also occur. One of the most common causes of upper respiratory infections are mycoplasma bacteria, though other bacteria and viruses may also be causes. Signs include a runny nose, bubbles from the nose, erosion of the nares, swelling around the eyes, and conjunctivitis, reddened, inflamed eyes, flushing mucus out of the tortoise's sinus cavity along with proper antibiotic therapy is often needed to resolve illness. Tortoises with mycoplasma are often infected for life, and flare-ups during times of stress or immunocompromise are common. Lower respiratory infections are more significant and require more aggressive treatment. Symptoms include labored breathing, indicated by a tortoise extending its neck and moving its front legs in and out in order to breathe, weakness, lethargy, sunken eyes, and other signs. Radiographs, X-rays, are usually needed to diagnose lower respiratory infections. And a lung wash to collect samples for cytology and culture should be performed when possible to provide the best treatment. Radiographs of the lungs and a blood panel may also be necessary to fully access how ill the tortoise is and to give a prognosis for treatment. In severe cases, a feeding tube is sometimes placed surgically through the neck of the turtle so it can be fed a gruel to maintain its strength until eating on its own. These feeding tubes may be in place many weeks to months. Treatment usually entails a course or antibiotics, often for several weeks to months, depending on the severity of the re. These can be given orally, but give that these tortoises often are not eating and have strong jaws and withdraw into the shell even when ill. The treatment is often given via injections. Most veterinarians will show owners how to administer the medication, it's not hard once learned. Nasal inocular drops are also sometimes administered along with the antibiotics to help the turtle smell and see its food better. Keeping the tortoise warm during treatment is also a necessity. The veterinarian may suggest keeping them indoors under heat and full-spectrum lighting until well.